Am I in focus? Is that focused? Mm. Oh no. I need to be back here. Check. You might have noticed that just recently I've been dicking around with Canon FD lenses. And there are a couple of reasons. One, I wanted to try some different lenses. And two, I'm tight. And what I mean by that is I do not want to go out and spend a thousand pound on a nifty 50 lens. Because Rodney, I don't have a thousand pounds. And there's a very good chance that if you're watching this video, you're in exactly the same position as me. We are not rich, we are not the privileged in life. Everything that we buy for these smaller YouTube channels comes out of our bank accounts. So yes, I am dicking around with Canon FD, but, but, I like the fact that you have to do the manual focus on it. There's nothing electrical about these lenses. They do not electronically connect to your camera. They are fully manual. So if you are starting out on YouTube and you're looking for a camera and you're looking to get into the whole world of videography, don't go and spend thousands of pounds because you don't really need to. Look on Facebook Marketplace, eBay, maybe find yourself a cheap Lumix GH4 with a lens adapter and then start looking for your FD glass. Don't get me wrong, the FD glass can still cost quite a bit of money. Some of them are still fetching hundreds of pounds, 300 pound, 400 pound, but there are some cheaper examples out there and my mission continues. So yeah, I am on a mission with FD and I am planning on shooting a short film in the next couple of months and with that I'm intending to shoot the whole lot on FD glass. So what do you think? What's your impressions on this image? Do you think that FD glass is delivering or can you tell it's a cheap old lens and you wouldn't touch it with a 10 foot barge pole? Let me know in the comments below. If you found this video useful, please do subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up and maybe I shall catch you in the next one. Delia, what's wrong with you?